Okay, so we're gonna take, oh. Lamar Wilson. Hey, you doing? Good to see Lamar Wilson here. Back for another video where I talk about technology and other things that I like. And listen, a year and a half ago, I did this video where I built a actual computer for kids that was made by this company called Cano, who they sponsored that video and they're sponsoring this one too. And they came back and said, you know what? You did a great job having kids learn how to build this computer for learning coding and things, but how about having them build their own laptop? What? So this is the Cano Computer Kit Complete Make Your Own Laptop. Now this is designed for, as you see their ages, six and up. The sweet spot tends to be between nine and 11 years old, but you know, the younger, the better, if they can understand it. They have this belief that people, especially kids, should learn how to not only consume, but actually learn how to create as well. And listen, I used to be a technology teacher. I wish, and I said this in the last video, I wish I had this type of thing when I was teaching the kids. This would have been a great asset. You all got it good now, what, 10, 11 years later from when I left? So this is supposed to be a kit that anyone should be able to make. Good Lord, I hope I can do it. And it's supposed to be as simple and as fun as Lego. So, <laughs> let's go, <laughs> get it? Cause let's, okay, let's just hurry up. <laughs> and we go ahead and open it. These are stickers and things where I can, I can customize it. I'll do that later. Here's the book entitled, How to Make a Computer. Okay, so we're gonna take, oh, Ooh. You have the trackpad and you have the keyboard right there and a USB in the back is for charging only. Okay, so following the instructions, I'm just gonna take out all the pieces. Now we got the box empty. Let's get the box out of the way. Now let's follow these directions and get started. And just to let you know what this is gonna be powered by, this is the Raspberry Pi 3. This is the brain of the computer and this is what's gonna make everything work. It's tiny but powerful, like mine. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna give that brain new powers. We're gonna grab the memory card and we're gonna slide out the micro SD card. So we took that out. I love that this is step by step. Like, it's very color coded. It tells you just what to do. Turn the brain over, okay. Slide in the micro SD card, okay. And you can only slide it in one way. Now we're gonna add the on and off button. Grab the power board right here. We're gonna push this onto the brain. Very good, we did it, all right. So now we have a power button that's right here. That fast. So we need something to keep the brain in place. So we're gonna use this brain block right here. You put it right in the hose right there. That's easy. Easy peasy. So far, we 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 doing pretty well. It says pick up the screen, flip it over. There's already a circuit board on the back of this right here. It is just like Lego. Power button is sticking on the outside, and that's just gonna snap right in. So just to make sure you see each step. Now we got that in. The power button is right here on the end. And man, we are getting really close to getting this computer done. So the next thing we're gonna do is add a cable block and that'll help keep the cables organized. Just snap that on, nice and snug, it's there. So earlier I called this a circuit board. This is actually called the driver board. It's basically the screen's command center. So we need to make sure the brain speaks to the command center, right? So we're gonna need a cable. Go ahead and grab this HDMI cable. This will carry messages from the computer to the screen. We're gonna plug the yellow cable into the brain and if you notice it's upside down like I'm doing it, just flip it over. <laughs> and then we're gonna put the other side in correctly into the screen. And now we're gonna go ahead and just push this cord in. And you notice that right there, so now that keeps the cord nice and tight. This is actually really fascinating. I mean, we are so close to having this computer done. It's time to give the computer a voice. This will give the speaker power. This will give the speaker sound. So now we're gonna plug this part into the USB right there. Then we're gonna plug this part right into this jack, and that is the audio jack. Now you see how messy this is? It's just kind of everywhere. Well, the speaker, again, has one peg hole. This has one peg hole. I guess I'll let you know where it goes. Snap it in like Legos, nice and tight. And now we're gonna clean up those cords really quickly. There you go. Now we're gonna give the computer outside connection powers and we're gonna do that using USB. So here's the USB hub and this is gonna go into the computer's brain that will power it. And the USB hub also has a block to keep it in place. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Where would you put the USB? Would you put them here? Or would you put them here on the outside where you can access them? Well, how about we put them right here? You have three 
USB ports right there. Now we're gonna plug this into the brain. We are doing very well so far, guys. We need some electricity, lithium ion battery. Here's the Lego piece, and this is a Lego piece. We're gonna snap this right in. We're gonna use this red power cord, and we're gonna plug, plug it into the red battery. Kinda makes sense, right? And now this shorter cord, I'm gonna plug in into this small part of the board. All right, now we're gonna take this other end and plug it right into the screen, and that's gonna give the screen power. Okay, now we're gonna grab this red small cable, plug it into the battery. That's Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, will give us our power. Let me grab the uh, keyboard. It says to pick it up and pull out this white piece. Okay. Oh, this is the radio antenna that's going to connect the keyboard to the laptop. So, okay, I see what it's doing. And we're going to plug this piece into the brain as well. Now the keyboard and the computer are connected. Now we can't use the laptop like this, okay? So we have to keep it safe and that's where this comes in. All right guys, so before we do the final part where I put the case on, I noticed I made a mistake. I have this power cord in the wrong slot. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the correct slot. Okay, there you go. It is plugged right into where it's supposed to be. Now let's put the case on. This is gonna be so cool, so cool just snaps right on guys look at this i just i just built a computer okay so we have a final piece and i was wondering what this was for this is called the sound sensor it's gonna plug into one of the usb ports and this will allow the computer to listen to the world around you basically like a microphone so now you're able to make sound control apps games and art we're gonna hold this power button for three seconds and let's see if we get some power here we go ready and one two three I see things fly. Oh my God, what, what does it say? Did it say starting up? I missed it. Get ready, Cano is starting up. Guys, we built a computer. <laughs> I can't believe this. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you this part here. Sound might be a little bit muffled. Okay, so we've turned the keyboard on. There's a little button right here to turn it on. And we're gonna go ahead and type in CD. Oh my God, it's working. I know it's a little blurry for you. Um, I can see it though. Grab it. Oh, and I can't spell. <laughs> H O L E, and hit enter. Ooh, look at that. Together we can make anything with code. Press enter to continue. First, can you help me talk? Type, say hello, and press enter. Okay, say hello. Hello. Yes. Oh. I did hear you. Now let's use code to make art. Type circle 100. Okay, I. this is really cool. Wait, oh my, is it making, is, oh, <laughs> I just, I just coded it guys. Activate microphone, enter, make some noise. Hey, oh look, hello. Da, 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 da. Lamar Wilson. <laughs> it's an arrow. Use it to click on a circle. Oh, okay. Let's make my wallpaper. What happens when you snap these cold blocks together? You click, hold. Oh, wow. Okay. Hit click, and I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna snap it. Right. Oh my God. That is so cool. Okay, so right now it's loading my profile. Go ahead and click OK. <laughs> you can create a candle ward account so you can never lose your progress. Get inspired by creations for the community. Okay, so for the sake of time, we're not gonna be able to go through all these, but what I wanted to at least let you know is that once the device is assembled, as you see here, their software guides you through simple coding challenges, helping you to learn new skills, develop new uh, patterns. Heck, you can even go on YouTube if you wanted to. And this is their this is their YouTube. My Wi-Fi is a little bit bad right now, so just excuse it. It's jumpy. But look at all you can do. That is so cool. I said that YouTube video was actually pretty cool. I didn't even know I was gonna play that and, exp and explain really fast basically everything I just did. <laughs> but from story mode to Kano code, making art, making Pong, Scratch, Terminal Quest Internet, you have all these different challenges. And not only can your kid or you as, as an adult, it doesn't matter the age again, 
uh, do it locally. You can send it to the Canal Online community and then they can take a look and all the cool things that you're making as well that you've built, you've created, and you learn. And then there's the opportunity to play and get feedback on different things that you've made. Here's the coolest part right here, guys. Right here, it says system update available. That is cool. This thing will grow with your kid or with you uh, as it needs to grow. So listen, if you're a kid watching this, tell your parents about this. If you're a parent watching this or an adult who just wants to try this or think it'd be something good for their classroom or kid, I'm gonna put a special link in the description and you can get this camel kit with free shipping right now. So start creating with technology instead of consuming it all the time. So guys, I had a ball making this. This is one of the most fun videos I've, I've ever done. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Canal, thank you for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Again, the link to this and all the information, including pricing, will be in the description. Check that out. And I will see you all in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and thumb up this video if you enjoyed it. Because I, I mean, come on. I built a computer. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. He's the funniest guy who gets the job done. Likes and how to's, and a bit so fun. Man, he's so crazy, better pick up the thumb. Tomorrow will sun. <laughs>